Hey, if you ever find yourself getting into a rut playing, a great way to get out of that rut is to explore alternate tunings. So this song is actually in double C tuning. So if you're a beginner, um, this is a beginner lesson. If you are, uh, you know, uh, starting out, you've been playing in, in open G mostly probably. Uh, this song is a great one to dip your toes in the water of alternate tunings. So if you feel like, man, I'm just playing the same stuff over and over again, uh, double C is great. So um, this, like I said, is a beginner's lesson. There's going to be a tab to follow along with. Uh, the lessons and the tabs are always going to be free to you. Uh, going forward, I'm putting out a lot of lessons. I have flat picking guitar as well. So uh, that said, it's all free. There's a tip jar link, if uh, two of them, I think, in the description, should you feel so inclined. But that's not what is important. What is important is to get you all playing uh, some better music. So we're going to do Soldier's Joy here. You're going to tune to double C. Your strings are going to go as followed. Your D is going to stay the same, your high D. Your B, you are going to tune up a half step to C. Your G will remain the same. Your D, your low D, you're going to tune down to C. And you're going to leave your G the same. So uh, this is your first time detuning, going to an alternate tuning. Run through it once and then run back through it again because as you lower and, and raise tension, it's going to uh, affect the, the, the pitch of the strings, um, uh, the other strings on the banjo. So um, that said, this lesson is going to assume that you understand the right hand pattern of the bum ditty. You don't have to be good at it. You just need to know what it is and how it works. Um, also, we're going to make a lot of use of hammer-ons. So I think this is a great lesson for beginners for a few reasons. We're in a new tuning. Um, you know, there's some bum ditty practice uh, and uh, there's some hammer-on practice. So um, uh, the, don't let it don't let it fool you. This isn't a uh, super hard song. It sounds busy, but that's because of the use of the hammer-ons. And this is a good way to illustrate how you can fill a lot of space with hammer-ons and banjo. Um, so let's see. Oh, I would like to make a note about the bum ditty. So if you've watched any of my previous videos, uh, I'm a really big advocate on coming home on your bum ditty. So your bum ditty, right, is a strike, a brush, and a pop. So a lot of folks might do, I used to do this, a floating right hand. I don't remember when it was, but I eventually noticed that everybody was coming home with their thumb all the time. And I thought, why are all the good, well, not, not to say all the great players, there are a lot of great players that don't do this, but a lot of the ones I was watching were doing that, a lot of them that were, you know, in contests and stuff, and I thought, what, what is different here? It really does orient the muscle memory of your hand. So, like I said, if you don't do that, that's completely up to you, that's just the way you play. There are a lot of great players out there uh, that don't, um, but I can at least attest personally that when I finally decided to buckle down to do it, it felt like I had to relearn everything I knew about playing the banjo uh, with my right hand. And it did take my playing to a completely different level though. I, I promise you that. So we're gonna get started on Soldier's Joy in double C tuning, beginner lesson. Here we go. Really easy starting off. We're gonna hammer on. Pretty straightforward, right? We're not even popping yet on our, our bum ditty. Now we're gonna go. There's our first bum ditty. All right. Now we're going to do our first chord. So let's go back real quick. That's just them hitting the B. It's tuned to C, but it's still the B string. So. First chord, G. G in double C tuning looks like this. D, uh, 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 low D string, second fret, open G, ring finger on the B slash C string, and open D. That's your G chord. So. Now then the, it goes into the same part we did a second ago. 
Now we're gonna do something different. You're gonna use this in the refrain as well. So this looks, I'm trying to move my finger. You don't have to do this with yours. I'm just trying to let you see mine. So you're gonna put your index finger on your B on the fourth fret, and you're gonna put your middle finger, I'm sorry, your ring finger on the second fret of your high D. So it goes like this. Now you're gonna remove this, move your index finger up to the B second fret, and then you're gonna move it down to here. So the whole time you were riding that, you're striking, for your bump diddy, you are striking the B. All right, so let's go to the refrain. This little part plays a big role in it, but the rest of it's really simple. So we're gonna go like this. You're gonna make these notes, one, two, three. And this is gonna be the strike of your bum diddy, the bum portion. And that was my fourth fret on my G string and then open. If you're feeling a little adventurous, you can roll into this. So. Or if you're feeling a little more confident too, when you get to this point, you can go, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> don't do that. So I'm just hammering on those little mini chords. All right, so. Um, I think that's it. Um, yeah, that's the whole song. So I'll play it through one more time. Um, I had a lot of trouble scaling this one back. I think it was one of the first songs I ever, uh, kind of came up with my own arrangement to, which was a long time ago. And I've just kind of added little embellishments over the time. And so I tried to walk it back to kind of when I first learned it. And I was, I kept trying to do all the stuff that shouldn't be there. So let's see if we can get through it. The basic version. Let's see if I can get through it. found this helpful um you know please subscribe to the channel um i like i said this is i just want this to be free i got tired of seeing uh everything paywalled and uh said a lot of people reaching out to me um you know for help and i thought well i'm gonna sit around and play anyway so i might as well film it so uh much more to come like so there's flat picking guitar uh and uh I, luthier has my mandolin right now still my good mandolin um, and once I get that back, I'm going to be putting out some mandolin lessons as well. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.